All right, I'm 20 years old and I'm about to be 21 in December. And it's almost like life is throwing me through a sequence of events, almost like a roller coaster of up and down hurdles that I've had to go through ever since I graduated school. Now, what was school for me? School was basically the imprisonment of waking up at 7 a.m. for 13 years, of basically listening to teachers talk about bullshit that I did not give a fuck about, and then getting assigned busy work that did not benefit me at all in any type of way up until graduation. Now, graduation can be considered as one of the most beautiful days for many, but all all that was for me was just simply walking the stage and getting awarded this simple diploma of hey you survived 13 years of imprisonment take this diploma you did it now this may or may not help you in the real world but fuck it. you got it so you better take you some there's really four paths you could have went after you graduated high school, right? One, going to university. Two, military. Three, dead end job. Four, trade. And let's be real here. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. Let's just be honest. If you signed up to go to a university, all that is is a basically you signed up to go to a fucking island full of degenerates to smoke weed, drink alcohol, and fuck, and it's full of bad influences. Let's just be honest. Unless you're going to college to be a lawyer or a doctor, a business degree is not cutting it. Just say you're going to go party. Let's be real. The lawyers and the doctors, those are the real hard workers. I salute you. Much respect to you. I'm not saying if you go for a business degree, you can't be successful. Anybody can be successful going any path in life. It's all depending on the person. But just say you wanted to go have fun and have the college experience. Now, to the people who didn't go to college or in community college like me, you go through something called identity crisis where you're trying to find yourself for i don't want to say it hits right after because once you graduated that first year after you graduate school it's really more so like damn this shit is awesome i'm a free man i'm not stuck having to do bullshit i don't want to do until life really starts to hit within one year to two years after you graduate what do i mean by that what do I mean by that is every action you do has a consequence in life in the long run. Now, I'm two years into my graduation and by far my first year was very loving and peaceful and I had so much fun. It was the best thing in the world. Now, my second year, it's kind of became like, oh shit, this shit is awful. It's more so rinse and repeat. Wake up, go to work, go to school. Like, I go to a community college. It's not really fun. It's more so like a very it's basically like a nine to five but not really a nine to five on top of a nine to five if that makes basically what i meant by that is you basically have two jobs where you have to clock in for eight hour shifts but one of them being school which you're not getting paid for and since i go to a community college we are not a party bus on steroids unfortunately that shit is actually mad depressing and i don't even know if i really fuck with what i'm doing in community college so it's a risk of like mm, i may or may not fuck with that but i don't know why i said it like that in the video this is basically in just simpler terms basically you report to two eight hour shifts one of them you're not getting paid so two nine to fives basically mind now now every action you have has a consequence. Boom, you wanna go fucking 75 and a fucking 45, that's a felony. You're here with the felony charge, now you have to get a lawyer. And recently I got a speeding ticket, that's why I use that example. And boom, you have to pay $500, $250 in court fees, $250 in lawyer fees, just to hopefully get that shit dismissed or reduced to something that doesn't hit your insurance. Who are, boom, you're in Bro, I gotta stop saying boom in my fucking videos. Boom this, boom that. Bro, shut the fuck up, bro. This shit is genuinely pissing me the fuck off in editing, bro. Oh my god. Insurance goes up from 318 to now 500 a month, which is very pricely at the end of the day, right? Life is already hard. Why are you making it any harder on yourself? Which, that's what I feel like. Why would you wanna make life more harder by doing dumb things? Because at the end of the day, I felt like once I graduated high school, I felt like I was on top of the world. I felt like I'm coming out of high school, nobody can tell me shit. I can do whatever I want, no consequences. Cause you know what? I'm fucking him. You know what? Why, why is this old head trying to tell me some shit? I don't give a fuck what you saying. I'm gonna live my life. Little did I know. They're fucking older than me. They have more life experience. They're only trying to tell you what it's best but a lot of people my age and a lot of people younger we're hard-headed we're not gonna fucking listen to you until we figure out the hard way and sometimes it's too late sometimes it's not too late now there are a lot of people who have made a lot 
of serious mistakes and they bounce back from it. and that's very respectable because it's very hard to bounce back once you put yourself deep in a hole but once you do that shit is very respectful and beautiful and that's why i feel like when you come out of high school since life is already so hard on so many people and yes people some people have it easier than others some people don't i feel like it's just make all the right decisions which i know it's hard to do you're influenced with drugs like fast money and sex with in that area area i just feel like we as our own people we can choose the path that we go down and everyone has different paths in life and different goals as long as you're on track to where you want to go that's all that matters